So tell me, do you ever get a little witchy? <laughs>、hey、Bell friends, Kristen Som here, and we're continuing our work on the witches of Candy Corn Quilt Shop. So, today we get to work on Boulevard Witch. So, it's from Boulevard, right? So, when we embellish it after the fact, it's going to have the Boulevard pillow that most of us made last year. So, that will be so cute. This is my favorite witch out of all the ones that we're going to make for this candy corn quilt shop. So, tell me, do you get a little witchy sometimes? Yes, I said witchy. <laughs> <laughs> with the W. So I do. I think everybody probably does. For me, I can go really well without sleep. I can go overworked, whatever. I can, I can do pretty well. But if I don't eat, I will definitely get witchy. That, that's my downfall. So if my husband and I get in an argument, he'll ask me, Did you eat today? <laughs> and I'm pretty good about eating, but I have hypoglycemia. So, for me, that's the downfall is when、um, my hair is sticking up. <laughs> so, when、um, I haven't eaten like every few hours, I, my glucose levels drop, and, and that's it for me. Not very nice after that. So, always make sure I have food. <laughs> I keep like little energy bars and stuff in my purse and in my car, pretty much everywhere, just in case. So, anyway, so how about you? Do you get witchy sometimes? What is your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get started with Boulevard Witch. It is on page 27, or she, she is on page 27. And we're going to start with our main fabric. It's that light gray、uh, with lines all over it again. And don't forget to take away any pieces before you put on your fusible stabilizer. You definitely want fusible stabilizer on these witch. Ones because there's a lot of embroidery. This one actually has some applique to it, also. So, this one we are going to cut our main fabric to six and a half by ten and a half, and as always, back it with fusible stabilizer, six and a half by ten and a half. And then we have a couple of applique pieces today. So, the first one is the skirt, and it's just that plain black fabric, and we're going to cut this to three and a half by three. Back it with fusible stabilizer to ward off puckers. Three and a half by three for this black fabric. And then we are going to do the corset, which is so cute. This purple, I, I even centered a little flower on mine. So the corset, this purple fabric, I don't know what it's called, but it's got little doodles on it. And、uh, that one we are going to cut to two by two and a half. Two by two and a half for the corset. And yes, I backed it with fusible stabilizer as well. And then the glitter piece. I love this purple glitter. I'm really a pink girl, but did you know I used to love purple, actually lavender specifically, before I went crazy over pink? Do you know what started my pink obsession? On my 40th birthday, I got my first ever bicycle, my first road bicycle, and it was pink. They happened that year to have a pink bicycle available by Trek, and that's what started it all. I changed everything to pink. I, I even had a pink wall in my, in my craft room that my husband wasn't too happy about, <laughs> but I did. All right, so back or cut off, rip off, rip back the、um, plastic. On the top of our purple glitter, and we're just gonna use the glitter piece for our applique. And this glitter is for the hat, and for the hat, we're gonna cut this piece to three and a half by three and a half for our, our glitter applique piece. Three and a half by three and a half. And that's it for our applique pieces. But as always, we need some batting. So our final cut size, what is our final cut size of this? Cute little witch. Our final cut size is four and a half by eight and a half. So that means that we want a batting piece that is five by nine. Five by nine for the batting. And then we're going to quilt it. And for this one, we are going to use Celebration 2. I think that'll be so cute. 
um, celebration two and we're going to use four by eight in vertical. So the celebration two comes either in a horizontal version or a vertical version. We're going to use the vertical. So for those of you that have a five by seven hoop, you're going to want to do two of the four by fours. You still will use the vertical, but you'll do a four by four and then a four by four to equal out to four by eight. And that's it. Let's do my favorite witch. This is the Boulevard Witch on page 27. She's so cute. I can't wait to put that pillow on her. I think she'll look so cute. All right, let's get started. And did you see I'm wearing my witch shirt for you today for my favorite witch block? So it says most likely to wear the hat. And this design is by So Cute Appliques. I always get questions of where I got the design for my shirt. So there is a link, there's a bunch of links in the video description. I always try to include all the information that people are gonna ask. And that's also where you subscribe, hit that little subscribe button. Um, but make sure to look in that video description. It's got all the information about quilting and about what's coming next, our next project. 